Welcome to Linux in the Shell episode 27. My name is Dan Washko and today we're going to talk about some more mathematical commands. We're going to round this uh, or finish this topic off uh, as the third episode in this series. Uh, unintentional series by the way. As always, I'd like to thank Hacker Public Radio for hosting the website and uh, for hosting a whole bunch of other fantastic audio geeky topics. Uh, head on over to Hacker Public Radio and consider contributing your own program over there too. It could be a single program. It doesn't have to be a series like this. Also, I recommend if you have not already read the website or listened to the audio version that you do so at your earliest convenience because this just shows examples. The first example I'm going to talk about is factor, which gives you the prime factors of any number that you pass to it. So factor of 100 gives me 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Those are the prime factors of 100. Multiply those together and I get 100. Uh, fa and it'll do a uh, if I did that, those are the values of 12,632, 33, 34, and so on. I can factor to my heart's content. Factor 2 only has one factor, and that's 2. It doesn't show you 1. Uh, it just shows you 2. 8 has 3 twos. So factor gives you the prime factors of any number you pass to it. There's no other options. Another command is primes. Primes will give you, um, by itself, won't give you anything, but if you give it primes 10 starting from 10 it will list all the prime numbers given between a sequence or from a starting point so prime uh, 1 to 150 those are all the prime numbers between 1 and 150 uh, it won't go indefinitely it'll only go to this number right here right there it'll stop or as you saw before starting from 1 I hit control C to stop it like factor, it does not have, primes does not have any options to pass to it. But the next one does. Sequence. Sequence will give you a sequence of numbers uh, up to any number that you pass to it. So sequence 20 gives me a sequence of numbers from 1 to 20. Now I can pass a start and stop, which now the first number becomes the stop, and the second number becomes the, st or first number becomes the start, second number becomes the stop. Hit enter, and that's from 1 to 20. I can pass a third value in here of a stepping. I can do from 1 to f 20 steps of 5, and it goes 1, 6, 0, 11, 16, but make it a little more manageable, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, right there. Now, if I do the opposite, if I were to go to 20 to 1, that would make, it would show me nothing. 20 to 0 would show me nothing, but I can do a decrement right there, and I can go down by 5. So I can... Uh, this will do instead of integers, it'll do floats and negative numbers. Primes and sequence or factors won't do floats. If I tried to do prime 1.5, it says illegal number format. Factor 1.88, it won't can't do it. It has to be a positive, valid positive integer. But sequence will allow me to step by 0.5 or any float to 10 right there, and I can do. Uh, sequence negative 10 to uh, and do it by 0 0.2 to 10 and it'll give me all, all those values right there from negative 10 all the way to 10 as with a float of 0.2 that's pretty cool now I can I can do other things with sequence too as a s for separator so instead of a new line which is a default I can put a comma in there or I can put anything I want in here ha ha or ha, right there, and it'll put it in between there instead of the comma. I could also pad out the value so it is uh, equal width with the dash w command. So let's do 1 to 100 with a step of 5 right there. And notice that it pads out 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 6, 0. It pads out the, uh, the values there. Uh, let's do it 0, make a little more sense there when we get to 100. See, 100 has three value spaces there, three pos numerical positions. Uh, it just pads them out. You get the picture. Last thing I want to talk about is arithmetic. Arithmetic is a nice little uh, program game in the BSD package, which asks you arithmetic problems right there. Uh, and it will keep asking you indefinitely. After any tw every 20, it will give you a score. If you get it wrong... Like right there, it'll say, what? What? Oh, right, okay. And then it'll let you continue on. 
right there. And anytime you want to quit, you hit Control C, and it'll tell you I had seven right, two wrong, score seventy-seven percent for a total time there. Um, I by default it only does addition, subtraction, and numbers one to or zero to ten. I can change that with uh, the dash L, and I can put any one of plus, minus, X for multiplication or division. So if I put in X, I'm going to get all multiplication problems right there. Oop. And so on. But I can do uh, subtraction and division right there. Uh, five, eight, and so on. And I can change the value, uh, the numbers that are used, so I can do arithmetic dash R1000, and it'll use numbers from in the thousands, so from 1 to 9,999, and it'll ask me questions on those. That is it in a nutshell. That's arithmetic. It's a fun little game for you or your kids who are learning uh, math problems right there, uh, or to help you bone up on your arithmetic. This has been Linux in a Shell, episode 27, looking at factor, primes, sequence, and arithmetic, and I hope you enjoyed this coverage of some of the math commands in Linux that you can do from the command line. My name is Dan Washko, and you have a great day.